Good morning. Happy New Year. I am very happy to see you in the 2015. I hope this year will be wonderful for all of us. And uh, today I want to talk about uh, the Kingdom of God uh, which is under attack. We have declared a war on the Kingdom of God. War on creation. Yes, you think World War I and World War II are the biggest? No. No, no, no. War on creation. This is the biggest war happened in history. In World War I, probably there were about 5 million soldiers. In Second World War, there were about 25 million soldiers. You know what? How many soldiers are in the war of creation? 7 billion. 7 billion of us. You know who is our enemy? Planet Earth. Planet Earth, our Mother Earth is our own enemy number one. The land is our enemy. The water is our enemy. Air is our enemy. And all the life on Earth <coughs> except our own selfish life. They are all our enemies. So this is what is happening. So, also we have declared war on our own consciousness. You see, when outer world is destroyed, the inner world also will be destroyed. In fact, outer world is the reflection of our own inner world. If our inner world is garbage, the outer world is garbage. If your inner world is the garden of roses, outer world is the garden of roses. As simple as that. So I think it is inside. Every one of us want to declare a war through greed, through violent attitudes, selfishness, ego, arrogance, anthropocentrism. This is what is happening. So each individual becomes responsible. It is not the seven billion I am talking about. You, me, you, me, you, me, me, you. Yeah. We are each individual. When you come to the level of individual, you can find a solution. When you are in a tribal notion of religion, country, I don't think so. We'll be telling, he is doing so, I am doing it. She is doing it, so I am doing it. Pope is doing it, so I do it. Bishop is doing, I am doing it. Priest is doing, I am doing it. My neighbor is doing so, I am doing it. But individually, when you ask question, your consciousness, your dharma will tell you it's all wrong. Everything is false. So you take responsibility and you start changing. By individual change, you can change the whole society. Individual progress is the social progress. Individual achievement is the social achievement. So I think individual, you can do it and I can do it. We can save planet Earth or we can save the universe or you can destroy them all. So I've written a book about it. This is the book. 
rush to riches the war on creation today everybody is having a fever you know what fever to become rich rich fever that's what it's all about everybody wants to become rich rich and rich so and we want to become rich tomorrow or right now that is what rush to riches you don't have to wait probably another 20 years to become rich i want to become rich now today or tomorrow who cares about after 5 years i want right now so rush every one of us rushing to become rich i want to have everything i want to buy house i want my car so by doing that this is inevitable you are declaring the war on creation if you want to become rich you have to take something or you have to steal something or you have to destroy something or dig something or exploit something plunder something pillage something so that something is nature creation land water air all other life so they are under attack this is the picture which symbolizes the suffering of creation so while you declare war on creation these little creatures the biodiversity or the biosphere is suffering it is wounded and bleeding such a pain on all life on earth so today we need to examine the situation so this book examines all the earth systems what is happening to them because of our greed to become rich so the rush to riches the war on creation so i have classified into six chapters or seven chapters here first i talk about the war on land how mountains are stolen away soil is degraded and everything coal and oil the natural resources are all exploited and we have driven our planet earth to the brink of exhaustion yeah exhaustion there's nothing left out there only 20% of the resources is left for the future generations so then i discuss about the war on water so 82% of the fish is already fished out empty oceans only 18% of the fish is available in the oceans and the water is being polluted and uh, there's a big water problem looming around the corner already it has started in india especially in tamil nadu especially in vellore <laughs> dharmapuri pondicherry chennai they are facing right now desertification yeah desertification so water is wounded water element is suffering and then i discuss about the war on air air what we breathe we are not only breathing oxygen today we are breathing carbon dioxide carbon monoxide methane bad ozone nitrous oxide all this poisonous gases go into our system and uh, <laughs> we get sickness by the process called bio accumulation bio accumulation simply means you accumulate in a small proportions and one day it will become big and we get sick so today the whole atmosphere is poison the greenhouse gases i'm discussing in this book 
and I am also discussing on the war on biosphere, war on all life on earth, trees, animals, insects, the whole God's children are suffering. And we have created millions of ecological refuges. Monkeys are ecological refuges. Snakes are ecological refuges. There are hundreds of species. They don't have their homes. We destroyed them all. So the biosphere, the life suffers ultimately. The life is undergoing passion and death process. This is the war on creation I am talking about. And humans have declared the war on creation. They are seven billion soldiers. Our enemy is our own mother, Mother Earth. And she is wounded, bleeding. She is almost dying. So we need to help her. So at last I am talking about, so far I have been discussing about the outer war on land, water, air and life. But now I am discussing about one chapter, the war on consciousness. Yeah. Naturally, when you destroy outer world, your conscience will never let you live in peace. You know that. What goes around, comes around. What you sow, you shall reap. So Jesus says. Yeah, that is true. So, the outer world, when you destroy it, it's going to haunt you for the rest of your life. Now the war has entered into your consciousness. Yeah. Your consciousness is the battleground right now. Your mind has become the psychic battleground. So you are not living in peace. You have got troubles, stress, tension, depression, schizophrenia, hypochondria, all the psychological disorders you can imagine because we have done some bad karma according to Indian word karma. Karma means what you do, good or bad. The bad karma comes to haunt you for the rest of your life. Hinduism says you do bad karma you are going to be born again and again. If you do a good karma, you can escape the cycle of rebirth. Karma is a cause and effect uh, process. So I think we have done a lot of karma. That's the reason why we are paying for it internally in our consciousness. So can we do something about it? Can we come back? Sure, that is the seventh chapter is all about in my book Rush to Riches, The War on Creation. The seventh chapter discusses about uh, an appeal to religions to stop the war on creation. An appeal to religions to stop the war on creation. Or an appeal to each and every individual to stop the war on creation. I think an appeal to each and every individual is a better choice. I don't think an appeal to uh, religions to stop the war on creation at this point, it's a wise uh, choice. No, I don't think so. Politics and religions, they have proved to be ineffective in bringing out a rapid change. But individual can do that. I think I'm appealing and I am taking my words back and I am appealing each and every individual. I believe in each and every individual that they can really change the world and stop the war on creation because 
creation is god's gift creation is god's love and if when you destroy creation you are destroying god himself and you are crucifying him again and again and again and again and he is dying and he is dying and he is undergoing that process of passion and death come on stop it stop crucifying jesus stop crucifying gods please only individual can stop and i'm sure you will do it will you thank you and god bless